Hello everyone, I'm Jonah from Hollywood Heroes. I'm accompanied with James and uh, Joe Hello. here. And we just saw the amazing Spider-Man uh, Spider-Verse, <laughs> Into the Spider-Verse. Um, but we're here to give our review. Um, and so uh, if you Definitely. Uh, this will be a non-spoilers review, but we do have uh, questions prepared. Okay, the question is, is Spider-Man's history or universe treated fairly or twisted to suit the film's uh, maker's purpose? This is a great question because this was something I was thinking about pretty much through the entire film. This entire movie, at least to me, was such a love letter to Spider-Man fans. I mean, regardless if you're a Marvel fan, DC fan, you just love movies, I mean, I think that everything in here was treated with such dignity and purpose and respect that, like, you're, you're going to watch this movie and you're going to just be floored at how much they get right and how much detail there is. I mean, as a huge Spider-Man fan like I am, I notice references to the old movies, the TV shows, video games, comic books, even certain toys. They had little models in the background of certain frames. So, yeah, for me, it's not only treated with the utmost respect, but also the utmost accuracy to where I don't think anybody will, anybody will have an issue with this at all. So those are my thoughts. Uh, same. I think uh, it juggles not only the Miles Morales origin story, uh, but it also, uh, like uh, like what you said, it builds off and it goes to different uh, Spider Spider-Mans. It also juggles their origin story as well. Um, not only that, but I think uh, just seeing Stan Lee again, um, yeah. it's just For it's sure. worth the admission. Yeah. Uh, complete what he says. And I won't say anything, but my God, it's really good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll read my question now. Uh, yeah. Oh, did you want to? Sure, I can uh, chime in a little bit. Yeah, sure. um, absolutely. I think that, you know, I've followed Spider-Man since back in the 60s. I was probably, you know, 1969 when I first started reading the books. And ultimately, they do do justice to the, uh, mm. the Spider-Verse, to everything related to Spider-Man. I just think it's uh, amazing how you guys mentioned they tie in the creators of Spider-Man, right. not just the writer, but also uh, the artist as well. Oh, definitely. Yep, and I think that uh, you read the Spider-Verse, which I did, you read the current uh, Spider-Geddon, you read the Miles Morales books, you read the uh, Spider-Gwen books, all gets tied in together in this show. Yeah. Everything is there. I just, uh, there's nothing really that... Um, it wasn't true to the source material at all. I think it was spot on. Yeah. I think it was amazing. Yeah, it's an amazing experience. You know, jumping off of your comment on Stan Lee, I thought that this was one of his best cameos ever because we all know that when it comes to cameos, he is the king of them. But, you know, what he says and how serviceable it is, I mean, it brought a tear to my eye. And this movie brought, you know, a lot of emotions up to me, whether that be in story beats or in certain animation styles because I'm such a huge nerd about that stuff and the art design is amazing. But to see Stan Lee, I mean... That was that really hit home because you know he fostered a lot of our childhoods in a way, and yeah, when you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it's his moments in this movie which are brief, but they leave a huge impact. Mm -hmm. They do, yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna set, uh, lead off with a second question here. Would you watch it again? Why slash why not? What would you focus on? Uh, would I watch it again? Yes, yeah, I would definitely watch it yes. again. Um, I don't know when though. Uh, probably Saturday. We'll see. But uh, why or why not? Again, I absolutely love Stanley. Yeah. Um, I loved how they treated Miles Morales um, and his entire origin story. I like how they built off uh, Spider-Man. The original Spider-Man is like uh, Tobey Maguire's version. Yeah. Um, they kind of like left off where uh, where he le uh, like the story where he left off. They kind of continue it, and um, there's like a little bit like. Uh, a little bit of a spot there in the middle where they kind of leave blank, but you you know what happens and in the end, and they kind of work back on that. And I don't want to spoil it, so I I'm trying to dance around it here right, right now. Right, right, but yeah, I know what you mean. Um, and that's what I would focus on. Um, just watching, experience it all again. Absolutely, the art too. Yeah. Um, it's super uh, aesthetic. So. No, for sure. I mean, kind of again, jumping off of what you said, Tommy McGuire, There are moments in there where I knew that they take them, they take them right from his movies, his trilogy. But yeah. there is. There, there is, I don't know if it's like abruptly said, but there are moments where you could see where they can continue his storyline, um, which I thought was awesome. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to see it again because 
whether you came here to see Miles Morales, Peter Parker, Spider Gwen, Spider Ham, yeah. you know, um, they're all given justice and they all have their time to shine. Like it, it is focused around Miles Morales, but they all play a central part to where no one feels like a story beat just like to come in and then go and none of them feel like background characters. They all have their amazing, you know, moments. So yeah, I'm gonna see it again and for, for me to focus on would be probably honestly all the other characters, like because there's so many and they all just do such a great job. But that's for me. So going on to you. Yeah, I would definitely watch it again uh, for the second time, and I'll continue for the third or fourth. I mean, it's that good of a show. Yeah. It is jam-packed from beginning to end with spider action. I mean, the story never really lets up. Um, when you get Miles Morales and his intro, it just keeps on going, and you follow his story. But there's, like you said, there's so much other things that are involved. Uh, Spider-Man Noir. Oh, yeah. One. Yeah, that was really nice. <laughs> and he 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 did a great job. Uh, the voice was... It was Nicholas Cage. Cage. Nicholas Cage. Yeah. Nicholas Cage, yeah. of all people. I mean. Yeah, and, and he did a great job. Uh, had comedy as well. Oh, yeah. And, um, in different areas, and I think that it was fantastic. So yeah. Definitely watch it as soon as possible. Again. Yeah, for so. sure. Well, it's my turn. I into my sock here, Christmas sock, and we'll see what we got. Well, he opens that up. I mean, like he he mentioned, like action, like mm -hmm. you know, it. There's not action just straightforward. Like this isn't just like an action movie. You know, it's it's an animated movie with heart and stuff. But gosh, I mean, the way that they're able to film Spider-Man flipping and twirling and yeah. you know just how they're able to follow him yet move so fast at the same time, it's really remarkable. Mm. Here's a little plug for Hollywood heroes. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Is there wisdom and meaning in this film? Would Stanley be proud? Or do you think he would recommend it to others? Well, Stanley was proud of everything he did. He is uh, so associated with Spider Man, and um, it's just something that, especially if people go to see it and they're happy to see it and they he gives them some enjoyment he said it over his life repeatedly i guess if i if i made one person happy then it was worth it and so that was my stanley impersonation yeah spot Very on nice. by the way spot on <laughs> thank you but uh yeah i think uh, i think he would i recommend it i think he would recommend it and i think it's something that i think everybody should see and again, it's a show that's made for younger people as well as seasoned veterans. So um, and just remember, everybody is a hero. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yep. And, you know, sadly with his passing, as we previously said, he is the king of cameos. Eventually, there will come a movie where he's not cameoed. Yep. So to know that this is one of his last ones is bittersweet. Mm -hmm. But he would be proud. He would want people to see this because this doesn't just celebrate his character Spider-Man it celebrates that universe that he crafted with mm -hmm. Spider-Man anything you can think of that's in Spider-Man that you've wanted to see in a movie whether it's been there before or not it might not even get like it, well, I mean it'll get mentioned it might not be the you know the forefront of the movie but there's something in there for everybody so I know he would love this and I know he would recommend it and would want us to see it again and again which I will do so. mm -hmm. yep I think that uh, there's been some things in the news recently about uh, you know what what did Stanley do did he really accomplish anything and uh, those of you out there that uh, he impacted your lives you know I know as a as a kid growing up um, I think the rest of us know as well um, you know he he made a group or a club for us Marvel Comics and Spider-Man was a shining star is a shining star and definitely and he continues that with it continues with new characters. Miles Morales, a totally different backstory, a totally different individual, but yet he's still Spider-Man when he puts that mask on. Right. And it could be from a different universe, but, I mean, it's just... I can't say enough about this show. I think uh, yeah. if you haven't uh, made plans to go see it, make them. Make Absolutely. plans to see it. So. Do you have anything you want to add real quick? Because I, mean, I could talk about this movie forever, but, you yeah. know, we got to... Yeah, no, I completely fun. agree with everyone here. It's just, go see the movie. It's wonderful. Uh, definitely bring your kids with it. It's like, uh, it, Miles Morales is like, can serve as like a, not an idol, but someone to look up to, kind of like to relate. So um, definitely. that's what I like. I, all Spider-Man. Like oh that, yeah, so. for sure. I mean, you know, Miles Morales, you know, he, 
he will be the branching off point for for kids this sure. mm-hmm. this could be people's first introduction to spider-man and it can do such an amazing thing because it's just such a wide open canvas to be Absolutely. explored so stanley will live on for generations to come just by this movie alone mm-hmm. so that's yeah. really special i agree so I think that wraps it up for us yeah yeah so uh Thumbs up, thumbs down. Oh, definitely. Thumbs up, two, two, two thumbs, thumbs up, two like thumbs two up completely. Uh, six, thumbs six? Up. One, yeah. two, three, four. Yep. yep. Five, six. Six yep. thumbs up. Totally, so, totally. Yeah. Uh, go check out the movie. This concludes our Hollywood Heroes review of uh, Into the Spider Verse. Um, and yeah, that's it. So. And finally, Excelsior. Yes. Excelsior. Right. Thank you. <laughs> See, See you guys. Bye bye. Uh,